Hi, my name is Felipe, and I will be presenting an overview of our paper on learned compressive representations for single photon 3D imaging. Single photon cameras based on SPADs are an emerging type of sensor with extreme sensitivity. They can also measure the time of arrival of each photon with picosecond accuracy and operate at tens of thousands of frames per second. Moreover, their rising spatial resolution makes them a good sensing candidate for emerging applications. However, one major challenge that these cameras face are the unmanageable data rates that the sensor outputs, since they're capturing one photon per pixel at a time at extremely fast rates. In this work, we tackle this data bandwidth problem in the context of 3D imaging. SPADs are commonly used for time-of-flight 3D imaging where the SPAD is synchronized with a pulse laser. The pulse arriving at the sensor will have a time delay proportional to distance. SPADs sample the received signal one photon at a time, and after multiple detection cycles, many photons with different times of arrival will have been detected. To estimate distances, we can build a histogram of timestamps and estimate the shift of this pulse. Unfortunately, as the resolution increases, the large volume of photon data output by the SPAD causes a severe bottleneck between the sensor and the image signal processor. A 1 megapixel SPAD array that captures 1000 photon timestamps per pixel per depth image and operates at 30 frames per second will output 240 gigabits per second. This is not only challenging from a data transmission perspective, but also leads to high power consumption. The limited amount of memory and compute in the sensor makes it unfeasible to capture the full data volume and compress it prior to transferring it. Therefore, a practical implementation would compress the data as each photon is detected and never store the complete data volume. The compressed representation can then be transferred and processed in the ISP. To tackle this problem, let's first look at the 3D histogram tensor representation which encodes distances along the time axis. Consider a 3D block of this sensor. We observe that this block can be written as the sum of timestamps using a one hot encoded representation. In this case, the one hot encoded timestamp will be a 3D tensor where all elements are zero except for a single one which corresponds to the spatial temporal location of the detected photon. Using this representation, a compressive histogram can be built in an online fashion as follows. As each timestamp is detected, we can apply K coded projections to the timestamp and accumulate the encoded values in a compressive histogram with K elements. Although this operation appears expensive at first, since each timestamp only has a single non-zero element, these coded projections reduce to a simple lookup operation. In order to build a compressive histogram in sensor, the coding tensor weights need to be stored in sensor memory. Therefore, large coding tensors will be impractical due to the memory overhead they introduce. In this paper, we explored different strategies to reduce the memory overhead, which included restricting coding tensors to be small, local, block-based, and also separable. Finally, to optimize the coding tensor parameters, we implemented them as a layer of a 3D CNN and presented a method that allows integrating it as the first layer of existing SPAD data processing CNNs. Let's look now at the reconstruction results of the following scene. Using a high-resolution histogram leads to a high-quality reconstruction but requires storing and transferring the full histogram tensor. A coarse histogram introduces severe quantization artifacts which are smoothed by the denoising neural network. Using a hand-designed coding tensor or a random one leads to better reconstructions than a coarse histogram but, but continue to be low quality. Finally, the learned coding tensors achieve reconstructions that are comparable in quality to the no compression oracle. Next, one may wonder what if we could compute depths in pixel. With sufficient in pixel memory, this could be done by taking the argmax along the time axis. Denoising these depths results in the following reconstruction. Although this approach can help reduce data rates, it requires more in sensor memory than a compressive histogram. Moreover, at low SBR, compressive histograms can still provide benefits over this approach. We also analyzed the power consumption of an on-chip implementation. Although the compute power dissipated by a compressive histogram is higher than a conventional histogram, the overall power consumption is still lower because data transmission consumes significantly more power than computation. To summarize, we proposed a framework for compressing single photon data in an online fashion, which is able to reduce data rates by up to two orders of magnitude.